Test driver Matis Kurat has never sat at the wheel of a Mini before, and he's keen to know what he's been missing. He says he's not very impressed by its size, but is willing to overlook the deficit in the hope that the Mini will redeem itself in other ways. It takes a while to get used to the cramped conditions, but once he's settled in, the test driver starts to feel the English Bavarian wheels come into their own. A lot of people have compared driving a Mini to steering a go-kart, and although the test car doesn't have a great big roaring engine, Mata says he's definitely enjoying the ride. At 90 horsepower, the Mini gets up to a speed of 182 kilometers per hour. It consumes an average of 3.9 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers, and is fitted with a BMW six-speed gearbox. On the upside, there's not much shift travel between the gears, but on the downside, changing between them requires effort. But Mata says that's not the only problem with the Mini. Interior design seems to be much more about form than function. The dashboard, for example, is dominated by a huge speedometer, which Matas finds distracting. Every time he wants to check how fast he's going, he has to move his head to find out, and that is not in the best interest of road safety. And what's more, nervous passengers have the speed gauge staring them in the face the whole time. Not ideal if the driver and passenger have a different view of the optimal cruising speed. But apart from the irritating speedometer, most of the Mini's controls are easy to work with. And given the small amount of usable space available, all the buttons and levers are all within easy reach of the driver. But that's about the only advantage of the small interior, which feels tighter than the car's boxy outside shape suggests. As a retro touch and throwback to the original Mini, the car's shoulder line rises minimally. Seen from the front, with its big round headlamps and mouth-like radiator grille, the car seems to have a face. The hood and the wings are one piece. Although our test car is fitted with the second weakest of the six standard Mini engines, it's still fun to drive. By the time you've managed to contort yourself into the car, you won't really want to get back out again. To sum it up, Mata says at a price of 18,100 euros in Germany, the Mini 1D might be a bundle of fun, but there's no getting around the fact that it's a tight squeeze. Ultimately, it's all about priorities, great comfort or a great time. <laughs>